So here's the deal. Usually when I make a video, I'm pretty well versed on the topic that I'm talking about, often because I've done a lot of testing and stuff beforehand. However, the part that I always skip is the actual testing, which is where I have most of the fun. I have to make sure that I actually know what I'm talking about before I get on camera and start talking. So I usually go out and do a bunch of camera tests and experiment and try to break things and find out I don't know what I'm doing and learn how to do it and solve the problems. And that's actually where I have the most fun. So instead of just skipping all that stuff, I'm actually going to take you along with me and we're going to go do some testing. It didn't take me long to hit the first obstacle of the day. I was hoping to shoot some footage at the library, which I thought was open for in-person visits, but it's not. So we're going to go figure something else out. And it looks like the second challenge is that my phone didn't charge last night. So that's going to be interesting. There are a few different things I'm going to try to do today. One of them is that I'm going to try to figure out where log profiles break. I've shot HLG before but I don't have a lot of experience with log and I just need to get some more practice with it so that I understand it, when to use it, when not to use it, and what its limitations are. It should be pretty easy to test here because this is Arizona and we have lots of extremes of light and dark. We don't have any moody vibes in Arizona. It's all bright sunshine all the time. So everything here is either bright sunlight or dark shadow and that's gonna be great for testing log profiles. I'm in downtown Phoenix right now because I figured the buildings would provide some good contrast between light and dark. Parking garages are usually pretty great for this sort of testing because they are usually pretty empty, not a lot of people around, and the few people who are around are usually doing dumb stuff like you're doing. Um, they are elevated so you can get a better view of the city, you can get some nice, nice shots from them, and you can park there. Here's actually a good example shot. I'm taking this with my phone, and as you can see, we have lots of detail over here but nothing in the shadows. I can kind of go over here and expose for the shadows, but then you see the outside is completely blown out. So the goal here is to see if we can capture some detail over here and detail over here using a log profile. So let's get out the camera and see what we can do. I mean, obviously it's gonna be a challenge to light a scene like this, but take a look at that histogram. Like, everything's in the middle. I don't know if I believe it, but the camera's acting like it's got this. Basically what a log profile does is take all the image data and compress it down kind of into the center of the range. Basically prevents it from chopping off the highlights or dropping off the shadows, which is where you get pure white and pure black that just doesn't look good on video. According to the histogram, the log profile I have on here is pretty effectively handling everything. So I don't know that I believe it till I go back and actually look at the footage because this was a pretty extreme case of light and dark. But if it can handle that and I can capture some of the detail in the highlights and the shadows, that's gonna be amazing. All right, let's record and see what happens. Okay, let's try a couple other shots and see what we can do. Obviously, these are not the most cinematic shots in the world. I'm not taking these for composition or for artistic purposes. I'm just trying to capture example data. This shot looks totally blown out to me, but it says the histogram is good, so I don't know. We'll see. When you're shooting log, it's kind of like flying an airplane in zero visibility. You have to rely on the altimeter and the horizon to tell you where you are and how you're going. So I really, in some ways, can't trust what I'm seeing on the screen. I have to rely on the histogram to tell me if I'm getting the data or not. It's so hot. This shot looks so bright. There's no way this turns out. And now my phone's overheating. Taco Bell, fresco style of course, it's healthier. When you're trying to find somewhere to sit and eat your lunch, there are a few things as valuable as a shady parking spot. I just noticed there's a woman kind of hiding over there in the far side of the parking lot making some TikTok or Instagram videos or something. And it's easy to make fun of that stuff, but the truth is it's not that different from what I'm doing. I was just hiding in a parking garage making videos. So while on the surface it seems kind of silly, it would probably be hypocritical of me to make fun of someone for doing that because I probably look exactly like that to someone else. Okay, lunch is over. I think I have enough log footage, so I'm gonna move on to experiment number two. So the second creative experiment I plan to do today was to mess around a little bit with recording video and ambient sound. I don't really know why I'm doing this. It just seemed interesting, but sometimes with creative stuff, you just have to not ask too many questions. My brain told me this would be a good thing to do, so I'm gonna go do it. Sometimes you just have to try some stuff and see what you can learn in the process. 
Well, it looks like there's a fire over there, unfortunately. The last time I saw a fire like that and didn't check it out, it turned out to have been a derailed train that I really wish I would have checked out. So obviously I don't want to interfere with fire operations or create traffic or an obstacle, but at least go check it out and see what I can see. have trouble staying on a particular task. I don't really have that problem. My problem tends to be that I get overly focused on something and don't sometimes chase random opportunities when they pop up. If your problem is that you chase too many rabbits, maybe that doesn't make sense, but my problem is I don't chase enough rabbits and sometimes rabbits need to be chased. Fires are always farther away than they seem like they are. And this is a pretty big one, which meant it looked a lot closer than it actually was. Wait a minute, is this another train? All right, I've parked because I gotta look this up. I think this is it. It looks like there's a recycling yard right near there. So where there's a recycling yard, there's usually a pile of tires and where there's a pile of tires, there's eventually a giant fire. That seems to be how it goes. I drove around a little bit, seeing if I could get a better vantage point. I found a pretty good spot tucked away in an industrial park that gave me a pretty good view of it, but then I saw that there were giant vats of chemicals next to me, and I decided that was probably a dumb idea, so didn't want to get any closer than that. I'm, I'm adventurous, but not stupid. I guess this is what I get for complaining about the blue skies in Arizona. Now the sky is black. Moody vibes achieved. To give you an idea of the scope of this fire, I'm now about 15 miles away and it is essentially covering the whole sky, going back at least another 15 miles behind me. So this is one heck of a fire. I thought this spot would be cool to record some ambient audio, but all I really hear is airplanes. So it's not as interesting as when I've been out here sometimes. In the mornings, you can hear a lot of birds, but right now there's not much of interest. I feel like this hat looks kind of dumb on me, but the sun is actively trying to kill me. So you get what you get. What's the temperature? In Tempe, it's currently 106 degrees. All right, I'm at the park and we're going to try this again. So this is an example of the behind the scenes stuff that I typically don't show on this channel. I have no idea if any of this footage is gonna turn out. I know at least for parts of it, I had audio issues because I had my microphone settings wrong. There are various other setbacks that I probably haven't discovered yet. I'm sure something's out of focus. I'm sure something didn't record because my phone was overheating. But you get to see some of the pre-work that goes into making some of these tutorial videos. Anyway, thanks for tagging along with me on this exceedingly warm day. It would have been lonely without you and would have been weird if I were just sitting here talking to myself. Bye.